This is going to be a first attempt to talk about classes in uh, Python Arcade. So uh, I'm using my current example where I have uh, these things moving around the screen. I've got my bombs moving around the screen. Those are our sprites. Um, I'm going to make them a bit more complex. We're going to use um, a class to do that. So let's just look at where we are. We've got a uh, loop here that makes bombs and attaches them to a bomb list. It gives them a random position and a random velocity. And it uses this bomb.png and it scales it to 0.5 of the actual size of the image as it sits in, in the file. Uh, it's what I want to do. What I want is those bombs to pulsate. So I want that scale to vary over time. So I kind of uh, get smaller and larger. Um, I think it's be a nice effect. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to make a separate kind of thing that is a sprite, but is also my bomb. And you will see this in some other examples. So if I go on to um, Python Arcade, um, the documentation you see here, they've made a coin class, um, which has got the same uh, properties as a sprite, but has got some other functionality as well. Specifically, this one bounces off the edge of the walls. So let's just see. So you can look at this example as well once, you've, once I've been through this and see the similarities to what I'm doing here. So I am going to make a class called BOMB. And um, that is going to be an actual sprite. So the way we uh, say that it is going to use the whole sprite class that is built in to Python Arcade is we just put class bomb arcade sprite there. So just to point out, um, you can actually go and look at the entire sprite class. It's on GitHub. It's linked from the Python Arcade website. And it's super interesting and useful to look through here and see all the things that are in here. So for instance, uh, these are all the properties. We know about some of them. We know about center X, center Y, change X, change Y. There's also a change angle. That's really useful. And uh, I think there's a couple of other properties and there's a bunch of other methods as well. And we can see how it, the magic works. Um, I actually find that it's quite useful to look at that sometimes. Anyway, that's going off topic. Back to here, class bomb going to be an arcade.sprite. So what this means is that whenever I make a bomb from this class, it will basically use this arcade.sprite. So down here, at the moment, my bomb is made from the arcade.sprite class. I'm still going to say make it from the bomb class instead. Right? So it's going to be exactly the same. It's going to get an image, and it's going to get the scaling. So the typical thing that you do inside one of these classes is you override their own built-in methods. So for instance, we know that um, any arcade sprite, just going down to this on update down here, um, any R sprite has an update function built into it that basically just changes the x and y coordinate according to that change x change y in fact you can go and find it it's um it's just your control f you'll find it in here um so we can override that and write our own one that does exactly the same stuff or different stuff or extra stuff or whatever so i'm actually going to do that right here um def update and what it's going to do is say self dot center x plus equals uh, change, wait, change x, cool, and change x. Thank you for your autocomplete. My fault, I'm sure. And we'll do the same for y, shall we? Control C, Control V, self center y plus equals change y. And what we should find is that this actually behaves exactly the same as what we, as, as it did previously. Because this is pretty much identical to what is sitting inside that sprite class that we've already seen. Um, let's try it. Uh, and it doesn't do anything different. It just inherits all of the other stuff that we've got. 
self.changex, not changex. Gosh, when will I stop making that self.error? Eh? When will that ever happen? This is going to be an opportunity to talk about self dot as well. I might save that for the next video in this little sequence though. Uh, so let's run. Did I actually close it down properly previously? Run it. Oh, the window. Oh, here we are. Boom. So it did actually work the same. We can tell, but we can. Let's just prove it. Let's just prove it. Run it again. There we go. Nothing different. We've still got our bombs which are moving around the screen. Uh, we're still using um, all of the sprite stuff that's built in that does the drawing and all the rest of it. Uh, but we are writing our own stuff here. So we can do stuff extra in here, like what I want to do, which is to uh, pulsate my bomb. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to also do the have the init because I want to set this up with the um, with the correct with, with some variables to do the pulsating thing so the way we do this and I'm going to shamelessly steal from uh, here is we we have the init which is exactly the same file name and sprite scaling those are the two things that is passed to any sprite we've also got this super dot in it and that basically says what we're going to do is we're going to wait yep we're going to write our own in it stuff because we're going to put some other variables in but we still need the init stuff that already exists in that sprite class again going back to here all of this stuff that sits inside uh in it here uh this is all super important for a sprite that actually works. Please do all of that still. But we're going to put some own extra stuff underneath here. And the stuff I'm going to have is self.pulse rate. I'm going to have a variable. Um, let's make it random. I'll, I'll, we can pass this in later. Uh, random uh, dot rand. Uh, no, let's just. <laughs> Let's just go with a number for now, 0.1. Right. What we'll probably do later is we'll generate some random numbers and pass those in. Self.pulse rate equals 0.1. Um, I, I'm just going to leave it as that. I, I could do better later. But no. Anyway, so now, down in the def update, what I'm going to do is add that self.pulse rate onto the current scale. So self.scale, each bomb has its own scale. Uh, plus equals self dot pulse rate. Cool. Good. Uh, I also want it to kind of bounce. So I'm going to say if uh, self dot uh, scale is greater than, I'm going to pick some fairly arbitrary numbers, two, or self dot scale is less than I've got those the wrong way around. I want it to be greater than uh, two here and less than 0.1. Gosh, 0.1. So if the scale is too small or too big, is what that line says, then uh, self dot scale, we're going to multiply, not self dot scale, self dot pulse rate, we're going to multiply by minus one so it'll um to, if it's got too big it'll start making it smaller if it's got too small it'll start making it bigger and uh will that work only one way to find out isn't there save that five i feel like i've missed something so i do alt shift f5 what's going on alt shift f5 this didn't have the focus at the time Oh yeah, well, oh, it's a bit, a bit scary actually, uh, but we get the idea. Um, so I'm going to do a second video where we pass some values in and all the rest of it. But hey, the basic idea here is that instead of doing an arcade sprite when we make the thing, we're doing a our own class bomb which inherits from arcade sprite uh, and has all of the sprite stuff that we want 
all of that lot, uh, but also uh, has our extra magic that does extra things that we wanted to do.